actually are going off world people and we've been going to the Mars and Mars and Moon uh, for X number of years. I, you know, a lot of people might be a little upset about that, having paid for a program that they may not have known about and uh, might have had wanted some control over. And then dealing with who these other beings are may not be an easy issue. Understanding why they're interested in us. There will be challenges, I guarantee you, to the structures of power in this world. Politically, finance, industry, all of these. I, won't, I will not have time to go through these. This was a, uh, an expansion of, uh, of what I was just telling you. I will pause here. There, their interest in us. Why are they interested in us? Well, it's not that hard for me to see this one. This is an easy one. A hundred years ago, we had horses pulling carts. That was our world. One hundred years ago. And we're now at the verge of having your computer be as intelligent as you are. And this is the latest from AI experts. Ten years, as they say. Your computer will have the computational, full computational power of one human brain. That's a major milestone. And of course, once they achieve that, they're going to surpass that. So your computer's going to, you'll wake up and you'll chat with your computer. Your computer will sound like a person, except, well, be a little bit smarter than us. You know, do a quadrillion number of calculations per second or pull any data off the internet like that. So uh, a really good personal assistant. Let's hope they don't pull a Terminator or a Matrix or an iRobot on us. Or... The point that I'm making is we're about to reinvent our whole civilization. Other Intelligent species that are looking at this must be able to know this. They must be able to know that we are about to leap into their world. We've actually been in their world all along. We've only been asleep. Now it is time for us to wake up. Many, 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 many disclosure problems. Where do you want to start? How do you undo a lie this big without angering so many people, without threatening your own status? Think back just a little more than two decades ago to Gorbachev and his glasnost, which six years later ended the Soviet Union. Spiral of reform became too much. It just got out of his control. You start talking about openness and suddenly the Baltic states say, great, we don't want to be in your country anymore. Remember how you took us over in 1940? Oh yeah, that, right. We're gone? Okay. So what would happen after 60 plus years of a UFO secret? Would there be a spiraling out of control? It might start off real you know, manageable. It might not end that way. Would there be vigilantes? Let's get the aliens. You're an alien. What if we got free energy? Everyone talks about free energy, like it's going to be the greatest thing. What if it isn't? We used to have free energy. It was called oil. O oil. I mean, for all intents and purposes, was free for a long time. And we did things with oil that really weren't all that heartwarming to the Earth. Now, it's true that with free energy, we might not have to hack down the whole global ecosystem. You might be able to heat your home forever, you know, for free, I guess. You might be able to make a really neat bomb, too, and blow up the Pacific Ocean with that same source of energy if it's not tightly controlled. I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities here. The fire of Prometheus can be good and bad. And again, I'm not arguing that we shouldn't move ahead. We have, we have no choice. History is bigger than we are. Read Tolstoy. He'll prove it to you. History is bigger. Things are going to happen. And uh, we're going to get it. It's going to happen, but it may not be fun. It may not be easy. And, and in the short term, all right, if, if we discover through the secret set, well, there's a better version of petroleum. We don't need that. Hey, that's great. Steel, pff, awesome. We got this nanotech-type whatever. Electronics, well, OK, in the long run, this is fabulous. In the short run, it will mean financial, major financial disruption. How long will that last? 10 years, more? It won't be fun. Or it, it may not be fun. Certainly not for those elites who may own those industries. But it may not be fun for us either. It's going to be a bumpy ride. And nevertheless, it will happen. They can't stop this. You can't stop history. The pace of change is so rapid. It's so revolutionary. It, it will not be stopped. Bill Joy, the co-founder of Sun Microsystems, was 
very concerned, is concerned, over the runaway nature of artificial intelligence and is afraid of a kind of Terminator-like scenario or some other equally bad thing that may happen. And a number of years ago, for years, has been calling to other executives to try to slow down or even stop the development of advanced AI. It's impossible. It's, it's spitting into the wind. You can't win. There's always going to be forces that will, let's tweak this program here, we'll fix this software here, and it, it's going to happen. And it's the same with disclosure. We're in a very unstable period of our history. It's like everything's bouncing around. That is exactly, in my view, the type of environment in which some monumental mistake will occur, in which the secret will come out in some way. I don't know how. I don't know what the trigger will be. It's going to happen. When, I don't know either. I predict within 10 years. Now, when it happens, there's going to be attempts, you know this, to control the spin. Okay? It's going to happen. Um, and so it's going to be our job, the job of any responsible researcher, and your job, to ensure that that does not happen. We've got to make sure that the actual truth comes out, even if it's horrible. Even if it's horrible. Especially if it's horrible. There's no other way we're going to be able to deal with the reality until we learn the full import of what is going on. And at the bottom here, I say not one enemy, but maybe two, maybe several. By that I mean, the enemy isn't just the national security state, which has been hiding this information from us for all these years. They are a problem to deal with. But there may be, there may be some extraterrestrial or interdimensional or non-human intelligences that may not be working to our best interest. If we don't acknowledge that at least as a distinct possibility, I think we're fools. We have to, even if their intentions may not be bad. What happens to indigenous cultures when they encounter a highly technically proficient society? We know. And maybe in the long run things get better for them? I don't know. You can decide that for yourself. But the point is that we have to be vigilant against a variety of fronts here. Hope and fear. Fear is an enemy, we know this. Because when we are afraid, we react irrationally to things. We don't think through. Hope is an enemy too, though. That sounds kind of wrong, doesn't it? Everyone likes to have hope. Don't give up hope. But here's the problem with hope. Hope also deludes. We need to have a cold eye. We have to be able to look at reality in as alert and awake a fashion as we, as we can. This is why I love the title of this conference, Awake and Aware. That is exactly right. What is true higher consciousness? Well, it starts with awareness, with seeing things as they are. Not as you want them to be, not as you hope they can be. You have to see them as they are. And um, it is only through going over that first large hurdle I feel that we can really attain a true higher consciousness, a true awareness in which we are awake, not asleep. Carrie often writes in her emails, awaken the dreamer. I, I think that is exactly the attitude that we all must have. We've been in a dream state and we have to wake up. That's everything. Thank you very much. If you have any other questions, you can go to my website. Thank you. I, I also, wow, I, thank you. Thank you very, very much. That, uh, thanks so much. I, I just want to say that I have, a, a, unfortunately, a limited number of books here. Um, I will be at my, my table in the back uh, right outside there, and if, if you are interested in a, a new book, I have it. I'll be glad to sign it for you. If I run out, uh, they're easily available on my website or through Amazon.com. Thanks very much. Richard, thank you. Richard, thank you so much. Does this work?